Hello everybody, my name is Rachel. I'm going to be doing an introductory stretch class today for people who haven't done much stretching before or perhaps haven't got much flexibility. It'll be about 20 minutes long. Um, what you'll need for the class is a mat, um, a band. I use a karate belt, but you could use a physiotherapy band. You could even use the cord off your dressing gown um, and perhaps some water. So, uh, next thing to say is if you've got any injuries or concerns about your medical health, then please seek medical advice before you start the class. Great, so let's get started. We're going to warm up the body. We're going to stand nice and tall. We're going to pull in our deep abdominal muscles and we're just going to unroll the shoulders. So we're just getting the body ready for exercise and we're going to melt the shoulders down. We're going to take the head over to one side and just gently stretch out. Lovely. Come back to the middle, go over to the other side. Nice stretch. Let's do that once more on each side. Just holding it, stretching it. Lovely to the middle and then over to the other side. Lovely. We're going to reach up tall. We're going to stretch out nice and tall, getting the arms and the shoulders ready. Lovely, and then we're going to take the arms out to the side of length through the fingertips and just do some nice arm circles here. Then we're going to bend the elbows and come up and down like that. Lovely. Now take the arms to the sides. We're just going to move from side to side. Getting the torso and the hips nicely warmed up. Fantastic. And then coming to the middle, we're just going to warm up the glutes and the legs by just gently swinging up and down. So bend the knees as much as you can, just pushing up, gently getting everything moving. Lovely. And now let's try and open up the side of the body. So standing nice and tall, I'm always going to try and start with the right, but forgive me if I forget, we'll always do both sides. So, coming over with the right arm, keeping it in line with your ear so you're not coming forward and just gently letting that left arm go down the leg. And we're going to exhale and breathe into the stretch. So for a lot of these, we're holding the stretches perhaps a bit longer than you're used to. So don't panic, don't feel uncomfortable, just relax into it and enjoy the stretch. Lovely, let's come over to the other side. So we're taking the left arm over in line with the ear, letting that right shoulder drop, the right leg find its way down your leg and gently coming into the stretch. So remember, use the exhalation to just find a little bit more in the stretch. That's the case for all of these stretches. Lovely, super and coming over. Okay, so our next move, we're going to articulate through the spine, we're going to stretch the spine, and we're going to feel a nice stretch in our hamstrings. So standing nice and tall, pulling in your deep core muscles, we're going to imagine we're standing against a wall. And I just want you to peel off that wall one vertebra at a time. Really nice articulation through the spine, coming down. Finding the point of tension in the back of the legs, wherever that is, you might be able to touch the ground, you might not, that doesn't matter. But you should feel a really nice stretch here in the hamstrings and also in the back as well. And we're just going to hang there, we're going to release the shoulders, really enjoy the stretch. Take a nice breath in and then as you exhale, we're going to restack the spine one vertebra at a time, coming nicely up into our standing position. Let's do that once more, okay? So nice big breath in, exhale, articulate through the spine, really getting that movement in the spine, feeling the stretch in the back of the legs, hanging here in a right door position, really nicely feeling the stretch in the back and the back of the legs. Inhale and then exhale and restack the spine. Lovely, shoulders down, head up. Fantastic. So this time we're just going to do half of that. We're just going to come down nice and gently, rolling through the spine, down and onto the mat. Fantastic. So we're going to start off by opening up the upper part of the body. I normally call this clamshell. We're going to put our knees together, one on top of the other, come down onto our side. 
down onto our right hand side, bring our hands together. We're going to inhale and open up the body, looking towards that top arm. Exhale and come back over. Inhale, opening up the body, following your hand with your gaze. Exhale, coming back. Let's do that once more. Inhale, open. Exhale, back. Fantastic. Let's change over to the other side. So remember, keep the knees one on top of the other. Take the hands out in front of you. Inhale, open up the body. Nice stretch. Exhale, come back over. Inhale, open. Keep the knees aligned. Exhale, back. And once more. Inhale, open, follow your gaze. Exhale, lovely. So we're going to come up into sitting now, nice and gently. So you can sit with your legs out or your legs crossed, doesn't matter for this one. But we're going to come right up onto our sitting bones. Shoulders are down and we're going to stretch out the side of the body. So again, we're going to try and start with the right hand side. We're going to come over the body in line with the ear, just as we did standing up. But this time I really want you to try and anchor both hips down onto the mat. So you're not lifting this right hip, you're keeping it down and we're getting that really nice stretch. Try and drop that left shoulder away and really breathe into the stretch. Exhale and release. Coming up and then coming over with the other arm. So left arm in line with the ear, coming over, keeping both hips really anchored down, right shoulder drops so it's not coming up, not tensing up, exhaling, really releasing nicely into that stretch. Fantastic, good to come up. So now we're going to do some swooping to open up the upper body a little bit more. Again, we're going to try and start with the right. So a nice big breath in, exhale, come forward, inhale, exhale, Inhale, so we're swooping forwards with that right arm. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Lovely, let's swap over to the left hand side. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Really nice swooping. So upper body should feel really light and open as we swoop. Lovely, let's do one more. Fantastic, sitting up nice and tall, good. So we're going to grab our band now. Again, if you've got a karate belt break, if you've got a, a physio band, or as I said, cord from a dressing gown, anything like this that will just help you get into the stretch a bit more. But you don't have to, you can do it without the band, just by holding on to your leg. So we're going to take the right leg out, and we're going to, so not out to the side, just out generally here. This leg can be bent or can go out, depending on what makes you comfortable. But you do want to be right up onto the sitting bone. So it's a way of sitting where you're right up onto the sitting bone. Hold the band, but not too tight. You don't want to be like this. You want to be nice and open. Flex the foot, push into the back of the knee, and really open up those hamstrings at the back of the leg. So you should be able to sit right up on those sitting bones and feel that stretch as you gently pull, pull the foot towards you. You should exhale into the stretch. So every time you exhale, feel yourself going a little bit deeper. As long as you're still on your sitting bones, you can even try coming slightly forward and then you can feel it a little bit more. Okay, so remember, Breathe into it. We're holding it for perhaps a bit longer, as I said, as you would normally hold a stretch, but that's fine. Just enjoy it and release. Good. So from here, before we do the other leg, we're just going to go into a quick calf stretch. So people quite often have very tense calves, this bit of the back and the bottom of the leg. So by moving the band further up, so it's just around the bottom of your toes, and taking and pulling the band back gently, you should feel that much more in your calf now, that lower part of the leg. So we'll just move that band up slightly 
and we're bringing the stretch into the calf and exhale and just keep breathing through the calf. So remember, any time you can stop the video and spend even longer. So if you've got very tight calves, you could stop the video now and you could just spend a minute or so just stretching out the calves and then resume. Fantastic. Let's go on to the other leg. So we're going on to the left leg here. We're sitting up nice and tall, exactly as we did on the other side. And we're just pulling the legs back. So remember, we're doing the hamstrings first, so the band isn't too high. We're breathing out through the back of the leg, right up on the sitting bones, and we're really getting that sense of stretch going on in the hamstrings in the back of the leg. So use the exhalation, use the breath to really release into the stretch. If you want to, you can come forward slightly, just feel it a little bit more. And then let's go into our glutes, I and mean, not our glutes, into our calves, even. So, Go to our calf by just moving that band slightly further up around the bottom of the toes and you should feel it there in the calf here at the back of the bottom of the leg. Lovely. Super. So from here, now we're going on to the glutes. So just pop the band to the side for a minute. We're going to start with the right leg. So we're just going to take it gently over the left leg here. And we're going to just cradle it, cradle that right leg in our hands. So for lots of people, this is going to be sufficient. You're going to feel the stretch in here. If you need to, you could just flex the left foot and just come slightly forward. So just lean forward without collapsing. We're still using our deep abdominal strength, shoulders are down but we're just coming forward just to feel that stretch a little bit more in the glutes. And remember, you're cradling that right leg in your hands. Good, so that's a nice, gentle stretch on the glutes. That should feel nice. Super, let's try the other side. So take the left leg over, just cradle it gently in the left arm, and then need to just move forward slightly, flex that right foot and just get a little bit deeper into it. But you should be feeling that here in the glutes on the left hand side. Brilliant, okay. So let's come down onto the mat. We're going to do our quads now. So keep your bands handy. We're going to use that in a minute, but not for the quads. So nice straight line. We're going to bend the top leg. Okay, so we're on our right hand side. We're going to bend the top leg. And we're just going to bring the heel in towards our backside. And you should feel a really nice stretch here along the quads. If you're struggling to grab hold of your foot, you can use the band. So loop the band around your foot and just gently pull it in towards you and you'll feel that stretch. So don't worry if you can't grab hold of your foot, that's absolutely fine. That's what we're going to use the band for. Lovely, so you're just pushing that top hip forward slightly, pushing the knee down towards your other foot and just trying to get into that nice quadricep stretch in the front of the leg. Good, and release. Let's go on to the other side. Okay, so we're on the left hand side now. We're just bringing that foot in towards the ankle. So your heel towards your backside, holding on to the foot. As I said, if you can't get hold of the foot, that's absolutely fine. Just use the band to try and bring it in for you. The knee goes towards your, down towards the other foot, hip slightly forward. So you get that really nice stretch down the front of the top of the leg. Exhaling, really breathing into it and trying to release. Super. Okay, so now we're going to go on to our back and we're going to um, bend the legs to begin with and we're going to take our band and we're going to loop our right foot through the band. So this leg can either be standing here or it can be flat, that's fine. Give me a little bit more stability doing it here. And we're going to try and get this leg as straight as we possibly can. So for some people that might mean it's down here, but in order to stretch the hamstrings, we need that leg to be nice and straight. 
So holding the band, but not too close to your body. So what we don't want to be is like this. We want to be nice and relaxed. We're flexing the foot at the top and we're breathing out through the back of the knee. So you're getting a lot of really nice stretch there through the back of the leg. Lovely. So just really breathing into it. And every time you exhale, let's just try and uh, move that leg ever so slightly closer towards you. Again, if you've got really tight hamstrings at this stage, you might give it a minute just to pause the video, really get into that hamstring stretch, and then resume. Good, let's swap to the other side. So we're going to swap into that left leg. We're going to hold the band nicely, not too tight, not tensing the upper body. We're going to flex the foot, and we're going to exhale, breathe out through the back of the knee here. So we're really getting that nice stretch through the hamstring. Every time you exhale, just try and bring that stretch a little bit closer, bring that foot a little bit closer towards you. Not too much, to overstretch, but just so that we're really trying to get the most out of the stretch that we possibly can. Exhale and release. That's fantastic. Good. So from here, we're going to go into a nice hip flexor stretch. Okay, so you need to come to the front of your mat and we're just going to step forward with this, let's start on the right. Okay, so we're going to come forward with the right foot and we're going to have both hands on the floor. Yeah, so we're not going to push this too much and we're going to focus on the stretching rather than the core work. And what we want to do is to make sure that this knee is not further forward than the ankle, and we're going to breathe and lean into it and open up the hip flexor here, yeah, in this leg. That's really good. And then we're going to change to the other side. Okay, so as I said, if you want to spend longer in this stretch, you can do by just pausing the video. So again, make sure this knee is not forward of the ankle, lean into it and open up this area here. Okay, so alternative hip flexor stretch for you, if that doesn't really work for you there, if you tried that stretch and it's not really for you, sometimes if we take hold of the right leg just below the knee, this works better for people, and we lengthen away with that left leg. Imagine you're pushing a button on the opposite wall and opening up the hip flexor here. So this is a really nice one to open the hip flexor and then change to the other side. So you're bringing the left knee into the chest, exhaling, lengthening away with that right leg, pushing that button on the other side of the wall. So if you do this pass a few times, you always feel free to choose between these two hip flexor stretches if one of them works for you well and the other one doesn't. Fantastic. Okay, so now we're going to go through a simple spine twist. Okay, not spine twist, spine stretch even. So sitting up nicely on your sitting bones, I want you to imagine you've got one of those big inflatable gym balls in front of you. And we're going to drape ourselves over that imaginary ball and really exhale into it and open up the spine. So have that nice feeling of lengthening, opening, working through the stretch in the spine. Fantastic. And then just to, um, to concentrate a little bit further on the, uh, on the spine here, we're going to go into our cat and cat. So remember, wrists underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. We're going to inhale and arch, exhale, going to cow. Inhale, arch, exhale, cow. So you should feel a really nice stretch here going on in the spine. Inhale, exhale. Try to keep those shoulders away from the ears, working in your own time, really enjoying that stretch through the spine. Good. And then I want you to sit back onto your heels into what we call child's pose and just stretch out. So leave the hands where they are up there, 
exhale and release. Sit right back, really enjoy the stretch. Lovely. And we're going to transfer now onto our back and we're going to do open up the hips. Just finish off with a little bit of front legs. So hands gently on the knees, just circling around here, really enjoying opening up the hips. down onto the floor, just let that right leg fall out to the side, so we're just opening up that inner thigh there. Again, breathe out, feel your exhalation coming out the inner thigh here, feel it releasing. Come back to the middle, exhale, take that left leg down, doesn't matter how far you go, really get that sense of the inner thigh releasing. Come back to the middle and just gently take the legs from side to side. So you feel a really nice massage on the lower back as well as feeling good in the hips. Then we're going to bring right knee into the chest. We're going to lengthen the leg away, really lengthen it, lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. Exhale, let it fall to the side. Same with the left leg. Bring it into the chest, lengthen it away, really lengthen it. Let it fall out. So now we're lying on the floor, and you could go now, you can go straight into the five minute relaxation class, which follows on from this nicely. Otherwise, just pop yourself onto your right hand side gently and up into sitting position. And we're just going to finish the class off by sitting nice and tall, right up on the sitting bones, deep abdominals engaged, shoulders melted down, chin tucked in, an imaginary thread pulling you up by the top of your head, creating a sense of length and well-being. Until next time, thank you very much.